We don't always know what we're looking for in life, so why would our files be any different? Especially in Linux, maybe you're looking for a certain type of file, a group of files, or just have a vague idea of what you're looking for. You might not even know how to spell the file at all, so for the uncertain things, there's globbing. Yes, I said globbing. <laughs> Brought to you by Audible. Hey there, I'm Nixie Pixel, and you're watching OS Alt, your source for open source. If you have any experience with programming languages, the chances are good that you've globbed before. Wildcard characters are used widely in computing. Glob is more than just fun to say, it means global command, and here's more of an explanation. Long ago in Unix v6, there was a program, Etsy Glob, that would expand wildcard patterns. Soon afterwards, this became a shell built in. Wow, the man pages like the narrator does in Dark Crystal. A thousand years ago, this land was green and good, until the crystal cracked. So it used to be a separate program, but no more. Now we can perform wildcard matching with ease, having just the knowledge of a few characters. Let's type in our glob pattern and get a list of all matches in response, kicking it off with a star wildcard. You've probably used the asterisk before, as it also appears in Windows and Mac. It can represent zero or more characters, even a whole string. Because of how versatile it is, it can also be equally confusing, so here are some examples. Right now I'm checking out the file information on everything that has .txt as an extension. And now I want to get info on a specific file by typing in that file name. Don't forget, you can go full screen HD to read the commands. Remember me mentioning you can find files even if you don't remember what you called them? The question mark matches only one character, which can be anything. You can include additional wildcards in the same line, like how I'm listing all the files that end with three letters as an extension. But that's a silly search, so let's do something to narrow down the results. Now I have an MOV file, but I don't remember the name of it. If I know how many letters it has, then I can search for it like this. Or what if I know only one word of the file, but not what type it is or even how to spell the missing words? There is a glob for that. So far we have a wildcard for many and a wildcard for one, but what about specified ranges of results? That's where the brackets come in. I'm sure you have tons more files than the examples I'm using here, which is all the more reason to glob. The matching process is much more robust than any GUI search I've found. For instance, I'm searching for my numbered files using brackets, and if you have photos or video, you'll find yourself doing this a lot. Generally speaking, you shouldn't use wildcards as your file name, because it doesn't really translate well and creates needless work for you. But say you have some evil file named with wildcards anyway. Using a backslash in front of the close brace escapes it so it doesn't match. Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm getting the file information for the llama, just fine. But what if I want the file information for this complicated thing? It's not finding the right file, go figure. So what I have to do is escape that close bracket by using the backslash like this. Now it recognizes it. Good job. You can now go out and glob with the best of them. Well, not really go out as much as stay at your computer and glob and deprive yourself of vitamin D, as I tend to do. But still, you stopped the guesswork, saved a lot of time, and generally made your Linux life easier. Go you! Thanks for watching OS Alt. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on next Friday's episode of All Things Open Source. Now it's time to pay my bills. I actually much prefer to have my addiction to sci-fi sated by sound waves. Really though, what passes the time better than listening to the unabridged version of Hitchhiker's Guide while you're stuck in traffic? Audible.com has the answer to the great question of life, the universe, and everything, as well as 100,000 plus titles sure to charm your cochleas. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash for your free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today.